Hey guys, um, I just got off work, so I have a little bit of free time, and I wanted to do a really quick update, um, because I have a couple of exciting things that I want to talk about. Um, but before that, I just wanted to mention really quickly that I am going to be making some videos in the next couple days, so be on the lookout. Finally, I'm, like, updating on a regular basis, um, but I had some ideas for some videos. I wanted to talk about the mind-body connection after surgery and how, um, you know, the rapid weight loss kind of has side effects um, where, you know, your mind doesn't necessarily match up with your body all the time. And there's some weird stuff that goes along with that. And I talked to my surgeon about it, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. And then another topic I want to talk about is uh, boyfriends and relationships and that kind of stuff, post-op versus pre-op. And I think I had one other idea and a product review. So look for all that kind of stuff in the next week or two. Um, I'm going to film one of them tomorrow for sure. Um, but anyways, so I have some cool news that I'm excited to share. Um, as you guys know, I always complain about my excess skin and how uncomfortable it makes me feel and how flabby I feel like I am. But at the same time, I don't really do everything I can to, to make it better. So... You know, I, I was kind of sitting around the other day and I was like a little bit bummed out about the way my clothes were fitting and stuff and, and just, you know, how I'm so close to my, my goal weight, but I've been in the same bracket for like three months now. I haven't really lost a lot of weight. I've lost like a couple pounds in the last few months and that's about it. So I'm kind of hitting a plateau and I know that it's because I need to step up my exercise and... During school, you know, it was almost impossible to have a regular exercise regimen because of all of the homework and studying and stuff. But now that it's summer, and even though the disaster happened, you know, but I'm working now, and, and I really don't have any excuses. So finally, I was like, you know what? I need to step it up. And I went to Gold's Gym, and I signed up and got a membership. So yay! <laughs> um that place is awesome. It is state of the art. I think it's like five months old. It's got, you know, all the best ellipticals and treadmills and stuff. It's got um, a swimming pool with laps. It's got a gymnasium type of thing. So you can take step classes and jazz classes and yoga. And they've got um, a cinema room where it's pitch black and you get to work out while watching a huge movie on a huge screen. So it's awesome. And you get to work out in the dark because sometimes, you know, when you're self-conscious and running next to all those athletes and stuff, you know, so you can go in and work out in the dark, which is awesome. <laughs> and they have, um, lots of other stuff, but anyway, so I've been going, um, a couple times now. I think I've gone like three or four times and, um, this is the other part that's awesome. Because of the economy and, you know, how a lot of people are getting rid of all of their um, extravagant things um, so they can afford their, their bills and stuff, um, gym memberships obviously are going down and stuff, especially with the trainers. So they're kind of desperate, which is good because it's a buyer's market. <laughs> and... Um, I really wanted a trainer, but I knew it was so expensive. When I went in there a couple months ago to get a quote, it was like almost $1,000 for like 10 sessions. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, please, there's a thousand things I can do with $1,000 that are better than getting a trainer. So, um, like a car would be nice. Um, so I went in there and I was like, you know what? They're probably not going to have any good deals, but let's see what happens. So I go in there. And I, I'm in there for like an hour. And first, they, you know, they want like $700. And I'm like, you know what? I got to go. You're going to make me vomit. <laughs> You're going to make me sick. And, um, and I just kept haggling with them and kept talking with them and told them, you know, I can't afford this. Never mind. Let, let, let me out of here. Finally, we settled on a, an amazing deal. I got like 13 or 14 sessions for like a couple hundred dollars only. And... It was still, you know, a good chunk of change, but I've been working my butt off and I have two jobs because I work for my mom's boss too, just, you know, as a temp. Um, but I'm working a lot at my regular job and I just got paid and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm able to save up for my books and stuff, but I have a lot of extra money now. And I'm like, oh my God, for the first time ever, I, I can go do something for myself. And I'm like, you know what? I really want to get a trainer. So I did. And it feels awesome to be able to, you know, pay for it myself, like to 
see like my hard work at work pay off in my own life like directly because a lot of times you know when you go to work and stuff you have to pay your bills but I was able to pay all my stuff and have extra enough to get a trainer so my trainer is gorgeous <laughs> his name is Alex and he looks just like Jake Gyllenhaal I kid you not like I wish I had a picture to show you because he looks so much like him it's insane. Like the whole time I'm just staring at him like, wow, this is crazy. You look just like Jake Gyllenhaal. What the heck? This is crazy. And um, I actually think he's a little bit cuter than Jake Gyllenhaal because um, sometimes Jake can look kind of goofy, but this Alex is really nice looking and he, he's a little bit taller than Jake Gyllenhaal and, um, and his body's amazing. So um, obviously he's a personal trainer. But he's so nice. Like, that's the best part is he's not an ass. Like, he's not arrogant or cocky or boring. He's, like, he has the really, like, a really cool personality. And he's really, like, passionate. And so that makes me get inspired to be more passionate. And so it's, it's a great thing. And I love it. And um, I can't wait. So we're going to train for the whole rest of the summer until I go to Baylor. And he said that he thinks I can hit my goal if I come in, like, three days a week. Because I train with him twice a week. And if I come in one or two times on my own during the week... He said that he thinks I can get to like 145 or 150 before I leave at the end of summer. So I am so excited. I think I'll actually be able to do a weekly update now with you guys because I should be losing one to three pounds a week, he said. Um, um, and my body's just going to start changing with the toning. Like my arms and stomach and stuff is going to become muscle, hopefully. So yay! Anyway, so look out for my videos, and I will talk to you later and keep you updated on uh, the gym and everything. Bye!